Here are four biblical marks God will show you when a man was sent to be a blessing to you. Number one, if a man's character matches what you've been praying for in a husband, this could be a man sent by God to bless you. It's always good to ask God for what you want, including when it comes to your desires for a husband. If you want a man who's taller than you, who has similar hobbies as you, or who has certain personality traits, God may very well answer these types of prayers or he may not. What you can be sure God will always answer are your prayers about your future husband's character. In fact, this is one of the ways God will mark your future husband out to you, by answering your biblical prayers about his character. In other words, if you prayed for a taller man or a man with a certain personality trait, just because a man doesn't have these qualities is not a sign this is not your future husband. God may say no to those requests and give you a husband different than you expected. However, if you prayed for a Christian husband who loves the Lord and who will treat you with kindness, if a man doesn't have those types of qualities, you can be sure this is not the man God has for you. You can pray your personal desires and sometimes God will say yes. But when you pray biblical prayers, God always says yes. Number two, if your interactions with this man are drawing things out that God wants to heal and mature, this means he was sent to be a blessing. When you meet the right man, oftentimes the relationship is still hard. God uses good relationships to draw bad things out of us and to help us repent. If your interactions with this man are causing you to take a hard look in the mirror, that's a great sign. Additionally, sometimes a relationship will trigger inner wounds that would have not been exposed without these interactions. And even if this man does not end up being your future husband, but God is using this man to help you repent of sins or find healing from past trauma, this man was still sent by God to be a blessing to you. Perhaps God is using this relationship to prepare you for your future marriage with a different man. Number three, if God is using you to be a blessing in his life, this man was actually sent to be a blessing to you. So often we think of being blessed by what someone can give to us. But according to scripture, some of the biggest blessings God wants to give us come when we are able to be a blessing to others. As Acts 20 35 states, in all things, I have shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Just as God may lead this man to help you repent of sin or find healing from past wounds, so too might God use you to help this man repent of his sins or find healing from past wounds. In fact, God may have even sent you into his life to help him prepare for his future wife. Either way, whether God brought you to this man to help him develop because he's going to be your future husband or he's going to marry someone else, you will be immensely blessed by being a blessing to him. Now, to balance this point out, this does not mean you should missionary date unbelievers or try to help a man who has no interest in loving Jesus. Be careful you don't misuse this point to justify being with a man God doesn't want you with. If this man's walk with God is not improving and he's determined to pull you down to his level, move on. This man is not sent by God to be a blessing to you. Nonetheless, we also don't want to be so guarded we can never help other people. And number four, if your relationship with this man is increasing the fruits of the spirit in your life, this is a good sign God sent this man to be a blessing to you. Only the Holy Spirit can produce good fruit in our lives. But so often he uses other people to influence us in spirit led ways. We have to remember the ultimate blessing from God is a relationship with himself. Thus a man is a curse to you if he is hurting your walk with God and a blessing to you if he is helping your walk with God. Always gauge your horizontal relationships with humans by how they are affecting your vertical relationship with God. Here's a related video called Four Signs God is Telling You to Stop All Communication with a Man. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com. Until next time, God bless.